Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets video in Practical Sheets. Today we continue our reservation system in Google Forms and Google Sheets and Google Apps Script. Today in part number four, we're going to start optimizing our functions and doing some more things. Right now, what we can do is we can create our available slots in Google Calendar. And if I create a new one, it will bring it automatically to Google Sheets here and to my Google Form here. I will have all my slots immediately once after I create them in Google Calendar so I don't have to, to manually update them. What I want to do today is once I have a lot of slots, I want the possibility of deleting them all. Uh, for example, I want to reset or do them again or something like that. So first we're going to create a menu where we can delete all the available slots. So it will delete it in Google Calendar and then it will update the list here and in my Google form so that I don't have an error. It will change the options to no dates available while we reset them or put new available dates. We're going to use this new menu to also be available to call the functions we've already created in the other videos update the available slots manually and update the bookings form manually. Just in case that something doesn't work automatically one time, you can do it here in a manual way. So that's it that we're going to do today. So before going right to it, remember you can subscribe to the channel where I post one video a week, or you can go to the Patreon page where you can access all the templates for the videos in this channel. So now let's go right to it. So just a quick reminder or a quick run through of all the options we can do here. What we've done in the past three videos is set up an availability calendar that we can appoint directly in Google Calendar. So we can do our slots here, the available slots of the week or of the following weeks. And then it automatically will include new slots, for example, I'm going to add one here in 25th October, 9 a.m. The title doesn't matter. What matters is that I created in the Google Sheet classes calendar. I save, remember 25, 9, 9 to 10 a.m. And here I can see that I have a new slot here and the nice thing about this is that, that it automatically updates the, the form. So if I go here and see the form, you can see that I already have the new date, the 25th of October at 9 a.m. updated. And now if I am a customer and I go to the form and I book, for example, this 25th October, and I submit now automatically it goes to booked. Okay. So this is basically what I've done in the three past videos. The first thing we could do is uh, delete all these lots with, with a button. So we can delete all events. So let's go to our Google Apps script. I'm going to create a function, delete all slots. So I already have my calendar. This is the available slots calendar. So I can copy this line where I connect to my calendar. One, one thing that I could do is here in the global workspace, let's call it, we can create a constant that is called free slots calendar ID. And it's going to be this one. So now that I have this calendar ID in multiple places in my code, if this changes, I only have to change it once. So I could also copy this line. Events get calendar events and the date can be from let's do a big enough time span. So I can start on 2021 one, and let's go up to 2023 or 2024 one, one. So I go three years and delete all the events in three years. 
So also I'm going to do these events for each. So I'm going to go through each event and delete it. That's it. I don't need this index. And this should automatically, once I updated the little all slots, which this should trigger the the bring events function, which is the one that updates this. So this should uh, be empty now. I think. <laughs> so I'm going to save. I'm going to run it. Let's see what happens. Let's go to our calendar. And this should take some time. So we can update this. And it apparently deleted everything. And if you go here, let's execute our function, our bring events function manually. Again, this is array is empty. Look, it deleted it. So I have a mistake here in the in the line 37 in field updates here because you can see that this question cannot be empty. So what we can do is in these cases, when we delete, we could say, if this dates list is empty, this is one way of saying that the array is empty, then we can put here, let's say a, a sample question here, something like no dates, something like that. And if not, then we could put this. Let's save, let's run this field of dates. And here you can see no dates available. Okay, very nice. Now I can add some slots. Now I'm not in October 2021. It's been like six months. Now I'm in April almost May 2022 when I'm recording this video. So I'm going to do some slots here and this week. Let's add two or three slots just uh, to try this out again. I'm just going to duplicate it. Let's see if this works. Duplicate. Uh, let's see here. If for some reason I brought here the calendar events just from 2021, from August to November. So I should change this again, like this one from 2020, one, one to 2024, one, one. So I have one the availability of, of at least a year. I'm going to save. Let's update this bring event. Now, very nice. I have here my three events, my three available slots in May. And if I go here, I have them here. That's nice. So lastly, I'm going to create a menu here with some options. One thing I can do is delete all the events from this menu. I could also manually bring the events if something goes wrong and fill out the date if something goes wrong. So this is nice to have a, a second option of calling my functions. For example, when we did some of these examples and it didn't bring, I could double check it from here. And the delete events function, it, the, the only way to do it is through here. So how are we going to do this menu? Here I'm going to create another function. It's called unopen. It's actually um, a manual trigger or a simple trigger that will run every time the sheet is opened. So here I'm going to go to my spreadsheet app, call my UI or my user interface. And then I'm going to say create menu. We're going to call this menu booking function. And I'm going to store it in a variable menu. And to this menu, I'm going to add a couple of items. So add item. The first one is going to be called the little events. And this will call this function the little slots. 
it should not be called delete all events delete all available slots so it is very nice and easy to say i'm not going to do this anymore or i'm going to reset my available slots or i'm going on vacation maybe another thing we could do and we can do this here in our to do for the next time is delete slots for specific dates so maybe i have a vacation in june and i want to delete all the slots i had for june for now we can delete all the events then i'm going to add another item uh, so i did this wrong i should not include the, the parentheses and i should uh, envelope this in a uh, quotation marks so now i'm going to uh, put another manual function that is called manually update available slots or just update available slots and this will be with the function bring events again without parentheses and in quotation marks finally another one that is going to be called update bookings and it will be this fill out date function again in quotation marks and that's it finally i'm going to build this item with the add to ui function let's save i'm going to update my sheet and again i have here my booking functions let's delete again all of our available slots so it deletes it here and ah there's something missing once i delete it i should call this function immediately i'm going to call it here update but it should call it automatically once i delete it so let's go here and once i do the delete all slots it will call my bring events function let's do just one more here So I have it here. I'm going to delete it. So now it's run smoothly because it deletes and then it calls the function to update. And here in my reservations, once I don't have any available slots, here it just changes to no date available. Okay, so that's it. Actually, I came here to doing, doing some other functions, but I think this, this came out nicely. We, we created this menu and we deleted all the slots so that's it hope you liked it and if you like it you can support me by subscribing to the channel or even further subscribing to the patreon page where you can find all the templates all the scripts all the google sheet files or all the videos in the channel so thank you so much see you next time